Merry Christmas, everyone, or Happy Holidays if you don't celebrate Christmas. I'm back today with, I guess, kind of like a Christmas special, Christmas video. Um, this video is going to be in two parts. The first part is going to be what I got my pets for Christmas and that type of thing. And then the second part is going to be what I got for Christmas. So, I know that part isn't necessarily pet related, but I just thought it would be a fun video since they're my favorite videos to watch. So... Anyways, um, I'm sorry I haven't been making videos lately. It's just because I've just gotten over a really bad cold, and I've been sick for, like, the last week. Like, the last week of school, I was completely sick for, but I had some tests and stuff, so I had to go to school, and it was just a really tough week for me. Plus, I've been Christmas shopping and just all of that stuff. It's just been really busy, so... Also, um, of course, you guys know about Dot's passing, which was pretty tragic, as well as the arrival of my new guinea pig on the same weekend, who I now actually chose the name Pebbles. So, you can now call her by her name, Pebbles. Um, I just have tons of updates. I'm not going to bore you guys at the beginning of this video with all the updates. I'll do a separate video on my break since I'm off now, so I'll be able to do some videos for you guys. So, anyways, I'm going to quit the blabbering because I know no one wants to hear it. And I'm going to get into what my pets got for Christmas. Okay, so first off, each cage got a stocking. And pretty much what I do is the stockings contain some treats for each cage. And those are from Santa Paws. So these guinea pigs, Cow and Marble, um, they have this little stocking. I'm not a big fan of it. It's like velvet. And it just has this little snowman on it. And there's just a kind of a little bit of a story to go with this. I was actually away for Christmas, so I had someone taking care of them, and all the pets got a bit more treats than I intended. So they won't be getting the treats in their stockings probably this week, maybe next week, just because I just don't think it's very healthy for them to be getting so many treats. Uh, just one second, Toffee is getting into trouble. Anyway, so in their stocking, Santa Paws got them... A little, well, made him a little bag, oh, them a little baggy that says special treats for Marble and Cow. Hello, Pebbles. <laughs> She's squeaking. And it just has a very moderate sized amount of some treats. Has lots of dried grasses, herbs, um, some little treats from a treat mix, some Timothy pellets, some Ecotrician veggie puffs. That's their big treat. And it is a moderate size, so we can be put right into their dish. So that was supposed to be given on Christmas, but again, since I had someone looking after them, um, they didn't get it on Christmas. So they're going to be having a little bit of a late Christmas, I guess you could say. And the second thing that they would get, but I'm planning on not doing it now because it's just going to um, keep, like, not dry them out, but I mean make them, like, stale if I take it out in their packaging, is a Vitacraft popcorn stick. And these were obviously $4.99 at Global Pet Foods. And they're just two popcorn sticks for the guinea pigs that obviously just have honey and popcorn on it. So, those the guinea pigs are going to get, like, next week, I think, sometime. Just because, again, like, their treat intake, I don't want to give it to them right now. I just don't really feel comfortable doing that. So, one is for Cow and Marble, and one is for Charlotte and Truffles. Okay, so Charlotte and Truffles have the same stocking as the other guys. I purposely did that because I wanted them to be matching. And if I just take it out of their stocking, there it says special treats for Charlotte and Truffles. And this is what it looks like. It's pretty much exactly the same, except they got two Sammy Noodles veggie flavor instead. Okay, so over at Dumpling's Cage... Um, this is what Dumpling's stocking looks like. It just has this little, like, angel on it with some star and snowflake detailing. And I just hooked it on with a binder, uh, binder ring. And, I'll just get that out. Um, it's gonna, it's gonna be hard to see, but this is pretty much, there's some other pieces over here, but this is pretty much what the treats look like for Dumpling. Obviously, the amount is much smaller, but as I said before, it's gonna go straight into their food. So I wanted them to be a moderate size. So, it just says special treats for dumpling and a little paw print the size of a hamster's. And that is pretty much dumpling's little treat. And also he is planning on getting a treat stick, which I will show you right now. It's just the nut one. Okay, so his toffee stocking just looks like this. It just has a paw print on it. And in it... We have 
a little baggy form, and it just says special treats for toffee with a big paw print. And as you notice from the treat, you can see that it doesn't have many like herbs and grasses like the guinea pig one did, but that's just because toffee doesn't like those, he likes more like extrusion treats. And Toffee's big treat is this Apple Flip by Purina. And also in his stocking, he got a uh, Vitacraft with fruit stick. And it says it's for guinea pigs, but um, it is okay for rabbits as well. It's, I wouldn't really recommend feeding this to either guinea pigs or rabbits. Just because seeds aren't like a really great part or a really great thing to feed your guinea pig or rabbit a lot. Um, but it is okay for them since there's no husk seeds on here. And Toffee did have the other one a while back. So he's going to get this one for Christmas. And I know he'll love this because he loves treat sticks. It's his absolute favorite. So that is what Toffee got. Now I do also have a little bag of treats for Pebbles, since Pebbles is not bonded to either pairs of the guinea pigs, but again, that'll all be in my updates video. I'll explain everything that's been going on in the last week or two, but this is what Pebbles' treat mix looks like, and it looks like a lot. You okay there, bud? <laughs> Tuffy just ran into this cage door, but it has a lot of grasses in there, and he's got one of those little crock pot apple things. I'm not sure what, the crock treat or something like that. Um, I also made a bag for Hercules. It just says special treats for Hercules. But I couldn't put anything in it because Hercules doesn't really eat anything that, um, like a mix of anything that could be put in there. I was going to put in a few mealworms, but I thought it kind of defeats the purpose. So I made him a bag, and I think I may just put in like a few mealworms or so. But his main treat is going to be a piece of chicken, which I can't put in here because it's going to be fresh chicken. Um, obviously cool down and all of that, but, um, yeah, that's what Hercules is getting. I just thought I'd mention that. Okay, so over here are where all the pets, I guess you could say presents from me and the family are. Um, they're mostly wrapped up except this one because I just actually bought that recently, so I didn't have time to wrap it up. But, yeah, there's quite a few. I tried to make them look cute and pretty, um, and there's also... A little Christmas tree here. It's actually a real tree, surprisingly. It looks fake, but it's really or it's a real tree in there behind all this like plastic stuff. So yep, yeah, that is what the presents look like before I rip them open, which I am going to do right now. But first I'll show you the two gifts that actually aren't wrapped. Okay, so these are two presents I got for the guinea pigs. So the first one I just picked up recently and it's just the ceramic dish. I bought it at Home Sense for pretty cheap actually. It was uh I think three to box something around that and it just has this cowhide like print and it does have a bit of a lip to it but that is okay I think it'll be fine since it's pretty shallow so I got that for the piggies and the next thing that I got for the piggies I bought off Flower Town Chinchillas I didn't do an unboxing or anything because I know I'd be showing it to you guys um, in my Christmas special but this is what it looks like. If you guys remember or were subscribed to me during the summer, I did go to a festival called Bun Fest, and I bought one of these for the guinea pigs. And the guinea pigs absolutely loved them. Specifically Truffles, he pretty much, she, sorry, was pretty much the one who completely destroyed it. So there is no more left from the last one, so I had to pick one up. And they sadly don't sell these, like, anywhere near me, so I ordered them online. It was ten ninety five, I believe, which is pretty cheap, but the shipping was a bit more since it's quite big, actually. And if you wanted to see the tag, it's an edible twig tunnel from made from all-natural willow, and it's by the brand Critterware. So it's just a really nice tunnel, and again, this is one of my guinea pig's favorites, as... I actually have watched other people's videos, and it seems to be a mutual favorite for all guinea pigs, so definitely check that product out. And as you can see, Toffee really likes this product as well. He loves to chew on it, so it must be a favorite for rabbits as well. So, I just picked up three presents, um, and the first one that's actually wrapped, it says, Two Dumpling from Your Family. And if you're wondering, yes, that is a hamster on the gift tag. I actually, in the mail, where I actually adopted Dot Cow and Marble, a Humane Society sent these to me um, as their little holiday gift. And it came with, like, rabbits, hamsters, and... What are you doing? This isn't for you. Hey, that's not for you, Toffee. Um, dogs, cats, all of that stuff. So I just thought these were really cute. So 
let's open this up and see what Dumpling got. I love opening presents. I think that's why I wrapped them, just so I could open them. So as you can probably see by the label, I got Dumpling an Ecotrician Snack Shack Activity Log. Now, I never did a haul on the first one that I got, but because it was pretty close to when I got Dumpling. But this is just another one of these small activity logs for hamsters, gerbils, mice, and other little pocket pets. So, Dumpling loved this, but once Toffee got a hold of it, he absolutely destroyed it. So I had to get Dumpling another one since he just loved it so much. So, that's what Dumpling got. I got this at PetSmart for... I think it was around seven or eight dollars, I believe. It wasn't too expensive. So, yeah, that's definitely a favorite with Dumpling. So I got him that. Wrapping paper. <laughs> then in here, in this really cute bag, adorable. Underneath all the tissue paper. Toffee's gonna have a heyday with that. Um, I believe this is for Toffee. Yes, it is. Um, doo 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 doo. I got him a willow ball. Um, this was actually featured in a haul I had a while back as well. Um, the Bunfest haul, actually. And it's just from the Busy Bunny. And they make, like, natural edible willow prep products. So I got this for Toffee since these are his absolute favorite. He can destroy these in, like, half an hour. So he's going to love this. Although he seems to be having quite a fun time with the tissue paper. <laughs> so cute. So, I'll let him play with all of that. And we'll go to the next gift, since this video is getting really long. So, next in this gift, I got Hercules. Um, this is what Hercules got, and it is just this woven cat toy, and it kind of looks like a baseball. And it actually has a rattle in it. I'm pretty sure it doesn't have any catnip in it. But if it does, I don't think he will take... He won't really care, I mean. So, yeah, it's just this little rattle cat toy. It's quite big, actually. It's the size of a tennis ball. So, I got that for Hercules. Um, Hercules is going to have a late Christmas present because he is going to be getting a new wheel. But I was a little bit late on my... Uh, Christmas shopping, so I was unable to purchase one for him since I knew it wouldn't get here for Christmas. So sometime in the new year, Hercules will be getting his new um, Carolina Storm Hedgehog's bucket wheel. But right now, this is what Hercules got. Okay, and for the last few presents, um, this one, open first. It's in this little baby bag. Well, it's not really a baby bag, but like a small bag. Okay, so it's all wrapped up in this tissue paper. Do, 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 do. And it is for Dumpling. I got him this very, very, very small ceramic dish from PetSmart for $2. And it's just a nice teal aquamarine type color. And I got this for Dumpling's veggies since I'm always looking for a good dish for his veggies since I always have to put it in his food bowl and I don't really like to mix it with his um, seed mix. So... I got him one of these, and I just can't wait to put this in his cage. I'm sure he's going to love it. And again, it was just $2 at PetSmart. That's, actually, that's really fun to do. Okay, so next present is To the Pigs, and it's from Mackenzie, me. And it's just in this penguin wrapping paper, but I'm going to destroy this now. This reminds me of Christmas morning. <laughs> I love opening presents. So, it won't open, of course. <laughs> okay. So, I got these um, citrus seeds, and these are the Tangerine Dreams for guinea pigs. And these are very, very similar to the citrus seeds in the United States that you can get. They're like orange slices. I got these on Flower Town Chinchillas for $4. It comes with... Five, I believe, of them, and they're pretty much the exact same as those ones, except they're just circular shapes. They're a bit smaller, and they're like the same colors, too. They look more like tangerines, or clementines, or whatever you want to call them. Um, so, yes, I got these for the guinea pigs, which I am so excited to try. Since you can't The rest of the presents will be continued in part two, so stay tuned and click on part two.